Hey guys, what's up? It's Timothy Wu here again, and today we will be in part two of the Arduino LTE GPS tracker using the SIM7000 LTE shield for Arduino. If you haven't already, check out the first Instructables that I made in the video description below, uh, which used freeboard.io. In this tutorial, we'll be using a better IoT dashboard to visualize the data and especially show a map of the GPS data. Really awesome tool called thingsboard.io. Anyway, in the first tutorial, we used what's called freeboard.io, which is a decent uh, free IoT dashboard interface that allowed us to drag and drop uh, different panels around, different panes, but honestly, the what really bothered me was the map. So you can't really, you can't really pan with your mouse, and you can't really uh, size the window up. It's really bad. Anyway, kind of lame. So I wanted to find a better solution. So I stumbled across Thingsboard.io. It's a really cool industrial-looking IoT dashboard, um, and as you can see here, it, you can pretty much do anything with the uh, with the, your data presentation. You can change all the labels, the colors, um, time frame, time windows. You can add pie charts, gauges, graphs, all sorts of stuff. Really awesome. So go to thingsboard.io. And then the next thing you need to do is click on this and go to live demo. This will bring you to a page where you can create an account and log in. And once you're logged in, it should look like this. So this is the ThingsBoard live demo. And under devices, you should see a bunch of demo devices. Um, and what you wanna do is add your own device at the bottom right, add a new device, give it a name, and device type, select default, and click O, and click add. Okay. So I already had that device added, that's why I didn't. Um, so yeah, you see it over here. And what you wanna do is just, just click on the device. And what you wanna do is get the token ID by clicking manage credentials. So the token is essentially uh, it's analogous to the device ID used in Dweet.io. So it just identifies your device. So when you send data, it will send it to this device, this GPS tracker demo device, rather than something else. Uh, you can change this to the IMEI number that the Arduino sketch generates based on the uh, hardware, the SIM 7000 module itself. And you can change it here and then also in your code. But for now, I'm just going to copy this. And let's go to the Arduino code. So in this sketch, uh, this is the exact same IoT example sketch used in the first tutorial, except for this tutorial, I've actually updated this code on GitHub, which you can find here uh, as always. So I've, I put the up, updated version on GitHub that you can download. And it uses, it adds, an extra portion that allows you to post um, to thingsboard.io. So the first thing you have to do is normally this section here is uncommented for dweet.io, but you just have to comment it out by doing this. And then this part was usually commented, you just need to uncomment it by deleting the braces and asterisks. So now that we have the device token, just go ahead and paste it in here or use the IMEI number and you know you can change that if you really want to but for now we're just going to use this um, what it just a quick overview of the code what it does is it creates a URL um, this URL is just the demo server um, that's in the API documentation here which you can find here and essentially we're just creating a HTTP POST request to this URL using the 
access token. Um, and then we're including all the parameters in the JSON as a JSON body in the request. So we're sending that along. And here we're, we're just putting everything that it's measuring, but you can just do like latitude, longitude. All you're interested in is GPS tracking. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So you can do, you can just add that if you want, but for now I'm just gonna dump everything in there because why not? And as you can see here, this line actually performs the HTTP post. So upload this code to your Arduino, make sure that it's actually sending data uh, to thingsboard.io. And here's how you can check. So if you go back to your dashboard, uh, if you go to latest telemetry, you should see a list of all the, of the latest data points. So of all the different variables that you sent. So you should see like latitude, longitude, uh, temperature, etc. And obviously I don't have anything here right now because I, I, this is just a, a, a demo, but you should see all the latest values here and it'll update when you, when you post it. And again, up here in this code, you can change the sampling rate. Here I have it set to 10 seconds because I, uh, the, I did a road test and um, that's, you know, you don't want it to be too um, sparse. So 10 seconds about right, it's not too much, not too little. Uh, but yeah, you'll see all the values, you'll see the latest value here. But what about the historical data? So the historical data will be in what's called the dashboard. So the dashboard is where you add all your widgets. Um, so you can add a dashboard after you have data by clicking add new and then create new dashboard and you can give it a name and click add and then you'll be able to go in here to the dashboard and add widgets by entering the edit mode and click add and it will give you a bunch of different options. So you can choose like digital gauges, charts, maps, etc. So you can add, for instance, a map. And there are many, there are different options for the maps and it gives you a preview of each one. Um, so you can choose like a route map. And then here, the first thing you need to do is add a data source so you can say add this is actually where it pulls the data from which is just your device over here you would normally find your device listed after it posts um, here I don't have it set up but you should be able to grab it and then also in the time series what you need to do is uh, select uh, latitude both latitude and longitude so for the, this is a, a map widget, so you need both latitude and longitude. Um, but one caveat here is that you need to go to, after, after entering that, you need to go to settings, um, and advanced actually, and instead of latitude key name as latitude, you need to enter this as lat, and then this as long, because these are the keywords from the Arduino sketch. So it sends, um, it sends, it sends the data as lat and as long. I mean, technically you can change it to latitude and longitude here, and then you wouldn't have to change it, but it just makes it a little longer. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can do it either way, but just make sure that it matches here as well. So anyway, uh, I'll be doing a, a little demo after driving around and collecting some data, but for now, I'll, I'll leave you with that and I'll let you experiment with it. Just make sure your Arduino is successfully posting. Um, check for the data in devices and we'll, we'll, we'll see from there. Yeah, we'll go on the road, get some data and
come back and see the results. So it all right guys, so this is part two of the LTE Shield GPS tracking. Uh, we're using an Arduino and the GPS Shield, or the uh, LTE Shield. And we are on the road at night tracking. And part two is going to be about um, using not freeboard.io like part one, but using thingsboard.io, which is a really cool and free um, dashboard where you can do all sorts of cool stuff and most importantly the map can be uh, map can be uh, changed and you can you can uh, pan it and move around in it and see the historical data not like freeboard which was kind of junky so anyway we will come back and see the results all right guys so now that we're back from the road test Let's take a look at the data we collected. So under dashboards, let's go to GPS tracker and let's see all the data. Drum roll. Ta-da! Wow, that's really cool. So as you can see here, uh, this map is really cool because you can move it around with your cursor, you can scroll in. Wow. Awesome. So we started off. Uh, we started off somewhere around here, at uh, at a quick trip, and then we kind of went down this path, down this road here, and made a loop around and back. And then I I stopped it here when we were still just kind of on the way back. Um, right at quick trip. So as you can see here, um, speed started off at zero. That's probably when I was testing before I even, uh, before the car even started moving. And then as you can see, this speed kind of varied a lot from stopping on a bunch of stoplights. And as you can see, we ended right here at 52 kilometers an hour. That's probably when I just unplug the device while passing by quick trip on the way back and altitude started around this it varies a little bit i mean it's it's not a huge amount because we're talking about uh yeah i mean this range here uh, so it's it's probably believable i mean we went we went a reasonable distance and all these cool gauges here. If if we had this in real time, like if I just put it in the car and had someone drive around, this would be showing the real time uh, values every 10 seconds, every time it posts. That would be actually kind of interesting. Temperature here, collected some cool data, went down, then went back up. Uh, probably went down because it's cold outside, but then we turned on the heat and here the heading obviously changed a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, these are this is a heading in degrees. It seems to make sense because we made a lot of turns, so each one's like a like a turn. Um, and then direction heading, if that were in real, if that were in real time, that would be pretty cool, as well as the supply voltage, which we don't really care much about. But most, the thing we care most about is the map, and that is actually really awesome. We collected some pretty cool data and it's really accurate. I mean, you can see you're on the road, it's it's doing pretty well. And keep in mind that it's posting every 10 seconds, so the resolution is not perfect. So the connecting lines might be slightly off the road, like over here, or places like that. Cool thing about this is that you can change, you can go to edit, and you can change the, the uh, mode or the look of this map. So you can change, you can go to settings, uh, actually probably advanced, and you can go to satellite, for, for instance, apply changes, and it'll show you the satellite view. How cool is that? Let's first of all um, finish that. Okay. Wow, that is awesome. So you can see you can literally see everything here, the roads and all that. Pretty sweet. 
So that concludes uh, the this demo video. Um, check out the Instructables in the link below. Definitely share, subscribe, and like. And I will see you next time. Thanks.